I mean, I take the mental side of, of rugby. Well, for any professional sports streaming series, I go and see a sports psychologist. Um, I aim to once a week um, to help me, you know, deal with lots of things in the game. Um, obviously, in professional sport, you have lots of highs and lows in how you deal with that. Um, you've got a personality like mine. You're a bit like Marmite. You, get, you love, love you or hate you. And I think with things like social media and things like that, now it's uh, people are one step closer to you. And um, unfortunately, the internet gives people. Um, a voice and opinion you don't necessarily deserve one. So it's always those the highs and lows and things, how to deal with the game. You know, back in the day you played um, maybe eight games a season and you could prepare on those games emotion, motion, but you can't do that anymore. Um, you know, you're playing 30 odd games, sometimes you're not gonna feel up for it, sometimes you're gonna be tired. Um, you know, people outside the sport don't understand that, you know, they think every week you put your shirt on, it's gonna be easy, but it's not the case. So I've worked really extensively on how I prepare for a game, um, how I, you know, always get myself in the same mental routine, how I deal with, um, making mistakes in games, how I deal with negativity, how I can be as positive as I can, how can I increase my my performance, um, and um, you know, deal with you know one thing that's important to remember as well about sport is that um, you know, being a good coach doesn't mean you're necessarily a good man manager and a good um, have a good ability to deal with people's mental sides because you don't get trained in that. You know, they don't train coaches to do that. So you know, what they take for granted can sometimes be crushing to an individual or can your confidence um, you know and some people just don't really understand how to, to communicate with players so you know I've had a lot of different coaches a lot of different experiences um, and I found it invaluable yeah there's a lady I go and see called um, Dr Jill Owen she's yeah she's awesome I've worked with her for a long time and she's kept me in one piece and kept me sane um, to some degree <laughs>